That's 20-year-old Abel Mejia, whose family says was full of life and brought joy to everyone around him. We're heartbroken. We're, we, it's like we have this hole in our heart. During his mission trip last week, his group stopped at the Grand Canyon when the day took a daunting turn. The National Park Service says Abel slipped and fell from the rim about a quarter mile west of the Pipe Creek Overlook. Knowing that you couldn't be there for him during the last moments, I think, uh, is probably one of the hardest things just because he was my little brother. Mejia was a freshman at Indiana Bible College, his university posting to Facebook about his death, saying he was known for his warm smile and gentle spirit. His four siblings say they all strive to be just like him. He loved to serve and he loved God, you know, with all his heart. The National Park Service says 10 people have died at the Grand Canyon this year, with about 10 to 15 deaths every year there. Joelle Baird with the park says deadly falls, however, are rare. In this specific area, this individual was hiking off trail, um, which is a, a pretty commonplace occurrence for a lot of our visitors here. It was just, it, it was hard. It was like, like receiving a blow in your stomach and you just couldn't breathe his family holding on to their faith tonight. Knowing that, you know, he passed doing what he loved and serving God with everything, um, you know, does bring, bring, it does bring comfort and, and peace to us as, as difficult as this may be, um, as tragic as it may seem. Now, Abel's family tells me they're getting a lot of support from the community and their church, which is helping them make it through. In wake of an incident like this one, the park is asking all visitors to stay six feet back from the rim and stand behind railings at overlooks. In the newsroom, I'm Holly Bach for Arizona's Family.